Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Brett and I, Millimeter USA, and today we're going to bring you a Smith & Wesson review. This is a new Smith & Wesson 629 5-inch in 44 Magnum. During this review, we shot 200 rounds of Sig Sauer's 44 Magnum, 240 grain V Crown, jacketed hollow point ammunition. Smith & Wesson 629 5 inch, shooting some Sig Sauer Elite Performance V Crown. Here we go. Double action. Six. The model 629 is a six shot revolver chambered in 44 Magnum. So you can also shoot 44 Special through this wheel gun. Go for some headshots, single action. Hold that round. <laughs> In case you guys didn't know, this is my first experience shooting 44 Magnum. We went right to the good stuff. <laughs> All we have here is V Crown to shoot, so we're shooting carry ammo, you guys. Pretty good, huh? Not bad, man. This revolver is an in-frame Smith & Wesson revolver, so the revolver is bigger and heavier to handle a steady diet of 44 Magnum. one-handed it's definitely not a 357 magnum <clears throat> so if you're recoil sensitive at all i would suggest the 357 magnum where you can also shoot 38 plus p which is like a pussycat compared to this just to cover that and get it out of the way and of course you can always shoot 44 special through this right right but it feels great it feels wonderful and it's handling the power no problem at all most of my shots are right on target. It was moving around a little bit, shooting it one-handed. But we have a lot more rounds to go down range. So we'll get plenty of practice today, guys. This revolver has a full barrel lug to reduce muzzle flip and a shrouded ejector rod to protect the ejector rod. Speaking of the ejector rod on this revolver, it is full length to easily eject spent casings out of the cylinder. So we got lots more of that Sig Sauer V-Crown carry ammo to shoot through the 44 Magnum today by Smith & Wesson. Just a beautiful gun. Good job. The sights on this revolver are standard Smith & Wesson. It has a red ramp front sight and a white outlined rear sight. The rear sight is windage and elevation adjustable. The top has serrations right here and it has a sandblasted finish to help prevent glare. Very nice. 
So here's what that Sig Sauer Elite Performance Ammunition looks like. This is the Sig V Crown. Mushrooms out like that. Comes in a box of 20. 44 Magnum V Crown. What do we got? 1300 feet per second and 900 foot pounds. I'm starting to get used to it too, I think, young Bretta. Yep. I still got a pretty serious hold on it, but not quite as hard as I was trying to hold it before, which tells me I'm getting a little more comfortable with it. This revolver has a round butt frame to it, and these are the grips that come stock on the revolver. They are made of rubber, and they have a Smith & Wesson logo on them. I thought they did a pretty incredible job on minimizing the recoil as much as possible on this 44 Magnum. The trigger on this specific 629 revolver is quite good. A little heavy in double action, but it has an amazing return spring. Very nice. Also, the lockup on this thing is just incredible, guys. Just really solid. Very well made. Lockup is really tight, guys. And there is some recoil coming my way. The weight of this 5 inch 629 is 44.7 ounces. So the revolver is completely made out of stainless steel, which definitely helps tame some of the 44 Magnum recoil. I totally agree with that. And although it weighs quite a bit, the revolver is pretty well balanced. I also agree with that. Very easy to shoot. The balance helped tame the recoil. I think you'll be able to see that in the shooting parts, even though there's a pretty good amount of recoil with a 44 Magnum. The revolver stayed pretty down. Yeah. And we haven't shot a 44. Well, you never shot a 44 Magnum before, and I haven't shot one in about 25 years. Yeah. Just hit him with some superior firepower. <laughs> All right, again. I gotta tell you, for as much recoil that 44 Magnum V-Crown has given you, you're keeping it down pretty good. Yeah, well that's because we shot a couple cylinders worth already and I think I'm used to the punishment of the 44 Magnum. You do have to lock it in real good. Yeah, it's running really good. Look at that group, guys. So that's 12 rounds. Nice, keeping it in there. All right, to the chest, one to the head. Oh. Smith & Wesson's manufacturer suggested retail price on this revolver is $9.89. So you can find it probably in your local dealer for about $100 less than that. That'd be my guess, yeah, right around there.
You're getting better with it, I think. How's the recoil on pulse? Is it hurting your hand even more, or? It, it hurts a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it hurts a bit, but uh, love that ejection rod, dude. Very nice. Very nice. It I is know. a really well-made revolver. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this excellent Smith & Wesson model 629 and 44 Magnum. If you're interested in this revolver or anything else available from Smith & Wesson, go ahead and check out their products and website via the links in the description box below this video. As always, everyone, thanks for watching the video. Remember to like, share, and support us on Patreon and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, Beretta 9mm USA, for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future.